Hello again my fellow pioneer welcome back on Fortune TV show, the only one YouTube channel that comes with the greatest update to the Pi Network community like you heard now as we speak Pi Network has reached more than 30 million active users engaged with Pi Network mining app and they always remember lightning in everyday basis. Before I can continue just remember to subscribe, thumbs up, and turn on the notification icon for the future video update that talks about Pi Network cryptocurrency and another crypto in general that we release every day on this YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss in full detail what is all about Pi Network final phase that is commonly known as Mainnet. Okay then let get started on. Phase 3, is mainly known as Mainnet. In December 2021, the Mainnet of the Pi blockchain will go live. The migration of Pioneer balances from their phone account to the mainnet starts during this period. KYC authentication of a Pioneer precedes their balance migration to the mainnet. In order to allow for sufficient time for millions of Pioneers to successfully complete their KYC verification, create utilities in the Pi ecosystem, and continue to iterate on our technology and ecosystem design, the mainnet will have two periods. At first, firewalled mainnet, the enclosed network and then, open mainnet, the open network. The enclosed network period. This period will begin in December 2021. The enclosed network period means that the mainnet is live but with a firewall that prevents any unwanted external connectivity. Pioneers will be able to take time to KYC and migrate their Pi to the live mainnet blockchain. Any balance migrated to the mainnet can be used, by the choice of the pioneer, to purchase goods and services in Pi apps, transfer to other pioneers, or get locked up for a duration of time for a higher mining rate. KYC Ed pioneers will be able to use their Pi on the mainnet freely in an enclosed environment within Pi Network. However, this period will not allow connectivity between the Pi blockchain and other blockchains. Advantages of the two-period approach to mainnet there are multiple advantages to having an intermediate enclosed period to ramp up to the fully open mainnet. This approach allows time for millions of pioneers worldwide to pass KYC, building and deploying more Pi apps and allowing more utilities to be created and used, transitioning Pi apps deployed on the testnet to the mainnet, and iterating on any modifications and adjustments to the mainnet and the ecosystem before the open network. The enclosed network period allows time for millions of pioneers to KYC and migrate their Pi to the mainnet. Only a small fraction of pioneers have been able to complete their KYC around the launch of the mainnet. Over the coming months, we will continue to roll out the KYC solution to more pioneers and help them complete their KYC. If we move directly from testnet to open network, this would mean that the pioneers who were able to KYC before others would have Pi available for use outside of the Pi platform while the pioneers still waiting to complete their KYC would not yet have this privilege. The speed at which pioneers all over the world are able to complete their KYC will depend on the speed at which each local community provides the KYC validator crowd workforce as well as the speed at which individual pioneers participate in the KYC. Having the enclosed network period gives time for millions of pioneers to complete their KYC and transfer their Pi to the mainnet. This way, all the pioneers who are willing and able to complete their KYC in a reasonable period of time get to use their Pi outside of the Pi platform at once. Given that external connectivity between the Pi blockchain and other blockchains or systems is not allowed during the enclosed network period, this further helps pioneers focus on transitioning into mainnet without any influences external to the Pi blockchain. This period will also help the community focus on creating utilities and bootstrapping the ecosystem without any external distractions. Consistent with the vision of the Pi network to enable a utility-based ecosystem, this allows apps to deploy on mainnet and create utilities for pioneers. Pi apps will be able to switch from testnet to mainnet, to production mode for real Pi transactions. At this time, KYC Ed pioneers will be able to spend their Pi on Pi apps, boosting utilities creation and bootstrapping the Pi ecosystem before the open network. This gradual and deliberate ramp to open network will help the apps, as well as the Pi network, to uncover and resolve any glitches in the market and the technology. Thus, the enclosed network period is in line with Pi's vision of a utility-based ecosystem and its iterative philosophy. Moreover, the enclosed network will allow the mainnet to run with production data and real Pi, which differs from testnet. Data gathered during the enclosed network will help calibrate and tweak any configurations and formulae, if necessary, to ensure a stable and successful open network. KYC Verification and Mainnet Balance Transfer Know Your Customer Client KYC is a process that verifies identification to distinguish genuine accounts from fake ones. 
the vision of Pi Network is to build an inclusive and the most widely distributed token and ecosystem for all pioneers. The mining mechanism of Pi Network is social network based, and the mining rate has halved five times so far as the social network size grew to over 1K, 10K, 100K, 1M, and 10M engaged members. Therefore, Pi has a strict policy of one account per person. This requires a high degree of accuracy to establish that members in the network are genuine human beings, preventing individuals from being able to unfairly hoard Pi by creating fake accounts. Pioneer's KYC results will depend on not only identity verification, but also their name matching with the Pi account and screening against government sanction list. KYC, thus, helps ensure the true humanness of the network and compliance with the anti-money laundering, AML, and anti-terrorism regulations. As communicated at the founding of the network, to ensure true humanness, fake Pi accounts and scripted mining are strictly prohibited. These accounts will be disabled, and will not be able to migrate to mainnet. Over the past three years, multiple technical mechanisms have been implemented to identify bots and fake accounts. For the accounts identified as highly likely to be fake by Pi's algorithm, the weight is on these accounts to prove otherwise. These identified fake accounts will either be disabled or go through a much more rigorous review and appeal process. The allocation of KYC slots will be prioritized for accounts with a high likelihood of being true human holders. Only the accounts with verified identities will be allowed to transition to mainnet, and only the Pi balances attributable to identity verified accounts will be allowed to transfer to the mainnet balance. When a pioneer and their referral team and security circle members pass the KYC determines if and when, and to what extent, a pioneer can transfer their balances. Below is a hypothetical example to illustrate how the KYC verification of pioneers affects their balances in migration to the mainnet. For simplicity, we define different concepts of Pi balances as follows. Mobile balance, the Pi balance currently shown in a Pioneer's account in the Pi mobile app. Transferable balance, the balance that has been allowed to be transferred to the mainnet because the Pioneer and their specific associated individuals in the referral teams and security circles have passed KYC. Mainnet balance, the balance that has been migrated and transferred by the Pioneer to the mainnet. Suppose individual A is the owner of a Pi account who wants to transfer their mobile balance. Pioneer A will only be allowed to transfer any of the mobile balance to the mainnet when their identity is verified, i.e., when they pass the KYC. Let's say this individual has individuals B, C, D, and E on their referral team and individuals D, E, F, and G in their security circle. So far, only individuals A, B, D, and F have completed their KYC verification. In this example setup, A is a mining pioneer who has passed KYC. B, C, D, E are in the referral team of A. D, E, F, G are in the security circle of A. A, B, D, and F have passed KYC. Here, A's transferable balance is the sum of the following three components. Pioneer rewards, Pi mined based on A's pioneer status across all mining sessions. Contributor rewards, D and F's contribution to A's mining rate as contributors in all mining sessions. Ambassador rewards, mining bonuses from all mining sessions when B and D as referral team members mine during the same session as A mined. As more of Pioneer A's referral team and security circle members, i.e., C, E, and G, pass KYC, more portions of A's mobile balance will become transferable balance, ready for A to migrate to the mainnet, and ultimately become A's mainnet balance. During the enclosed mainnet period, any mobile balance that has not become transferable balance will remain in the mobile mining app until the associated pioneers in the referral team and security circles pass KYC and the corresponding amount becomes transferable to mainnet. In the case of the above example of Pioneer A, the balance contribution by C, E, and G will remain as mobile balance for A in the mining app waiting for them to pass KYC in order for such balance to become transferable. If such associated accounts never pass KYC, the balance attributed to these non-KYC ed accounts will expire at a certain date which will have allowed enough time for the whole network to KYC. The unclaimed balances due to lack of KYC will be discarded by not being transferred to the mainnet at all. Restrictions in the enclosed network While transactions between Pi apps and Pioneers and Pioneer-to-Pioneer -pioneer transactions are allowed within Pi network, the enclosed network will have in place the restrictions as listed below. These restrictions at this stage help enforce the enclosed nature of the network. There will be no connectivity between Pi and other blockchains or crypto exchanges. Mainnet can only be accessed through the Pi wallet and Pi apps on the Pi browser. Mainnet blockchain will be accessible to any computer on the internet but only through a firewall to enforce the above rules. There will only be core team nodes on the mainnet to ensure that the firewall is in place at all times. 
the enclosed network will support the economic activities and growth of the Pi ecosystem. Thus, Pioneer-to-Pioneer -pioneer transactions are possible through the Pi Wallet as KYC Ed Pioneers will be able to use the Pi Wallet to transact in Pi. Pioneers can also spend Pi in Pi apps on the Pi browser, which can access the mainnet through the Pi apps SDK and the Pi blockchain API. During the enclosed network period, an app on the Pi browser can only use the Pi blockchain API's whitelist by the firewall to interact with the mainnet. The following uses of Pioneer to Pioneer, Pioneer to App, and App to Pioneer transactions will be allowed. Exchange of Pi for goods and services through Pi apps. Transfer of Pi between Pioneers for goods and services. The following uses will be prohibited. Exchange of Pi for fiat currency. Exchange of Pi for other cryptocurrencies. Transfer for Pi for a future promise of fiat or other cryptocurrencies. We will enforce the above restrictions by adding a firewall to the mainnet and by exclusively running the mainnet nodes for this interim period. Community nodes will continue to run on the testnet in the enclosed network period. We will continue to implement interface and other changes to the nodes in preparation for the open network period where the community nodes will be able to run on the mainnet. The restrictions of the network to keep it enclosed will be relaxed as it reaches the next period, open network. The open network period. Depending on the maturity of the enclosed network economy and the progress of the KYC, this period may begin on Pi Day, March 14, 2022, Pi 2 Day, June 28, 2022, or later. The open network period means that the firewall in the enclosed network period will be removed, allowing any external connectivity, example, to other networks, wallets, and anyone who wants to connect to Pi mainnet. API calls will not be firewalled, and pioneers will be able to run their own Pi nodes and API services. Pioneers will have connectivity with other blockchains. Community nodes can also run the mainnet. Thanks for being here on this YouTube channel please remember to subscribe, like, share and turn on bell icon for the future best video we release every week, we appreciate for every support bye bye for now.